In this video, I'll walk you through the process of creating your own first interactive worksheet with Adform. Click on Create a new worksheet button. Adform integrates with Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox. Or else you can upload files from your computer and turn them into engaging, automatically graded tasks with a set of simple tools. For demonstration purposes, I'll upload a PDF document from my computer. This document contains 10 pages. The platform allows you to select the pages you would like to use for your worksheet. I'll select all the 10 pages and click Import to upload them to Edform. Now that it's here, I'll choose the subject and grade. Then I'll click Next and my future interactive worksheet appears on the screen. You can see a bar on the left to go over the pages conveniently. At the bottom, there is a button Add Page, which enables Basic Plan users to add blank pages to the worksheet. Pro Account users can add any pages from any file to the current worksheet. The bar also allows you to change the order of pages by dragging and dropping them like this. This button at the top allows you to edit file settings, such as its title, the language, the subject, and grade. Here you might want to enter a more detailed description of the worksheet. To find the default number of points awarded for each correct answer throughout the worksheet, and choose to make the worksheet private or public. If you click on the question mark at the top, the platform will take you on a quick tour of all available interactive elements or task types, which I will talk about in this video. Let's get started with the first task type called Fill in the Blank. It allows you to add a short answer to a gap fill task. I'll place the box right here and enter the correct answer. You can change the settings of the box, the number of points awarded for this particular task, add an alternative correct answer, and specify whether it must be case-sensitive or contain a number involving dots, commas, or a minus. The Style section allows you to choose your favorite font and its size, adjust text alignment and transparency of the box, and change the width and color of the borders. This button here will clone your box with all its settings and then you can edit the right answer for the next question. If necessary, the box can be easily deleted. Let's see what it looks like for a student. They will have to fill in these blank boxes with the correct answers and the system will grade their work automatically based on the answers you have entered. Let's move on to the next task type. Checkbox element allows you to add checkboxes to the tasks where your students need to choose one or more correct options out of several given ones. Here, you specify the right one or ones. In the same way as before, you can ingest the number of points awarded, change the number of checkboxes or columns, drag to alter the size of the checkboxes. Multiple choice task type allows your students to choose only one correct answer out of several given options. That's what makes it different from the checkbox, but otherwise it's practically the same. Drop-down task type is a different way of organizing the answer options, where your student will pick the right one from the drop-down menu instead of, say, filling the blank. Likewise, you can adjust the style or the number of points awarded for the correct answer. Hotspot Interactive Element works best for true or false tasks. It looks like a clickable zone and the teacher assigns green color to the right answer and red to the wrong one or ones. Drag and drop option is perfect for multiple matching tasks or as another alternative to gap fills. 
it allows you to assign a drag element and link it to the drop station. You can unlink the elements in case of a mistake or link more than one drag box to the same drop station if more than one correct answer is possible. If you are a pro plan user, you can add a picture as your drag element. The number of points awarded for each correct answer can be adjusted in settings in the same way as for other task types. Matching task type is very similar to drag and drop. Here you can link two elements that match or unlink them if needed. If you add an open-ended box to a question on your worksheet, it will allow your students to type in their own answer. The system won't grade such answers automatically. This has to be done by the teacher in person. ProPlan users will have access to several more options, which I'll walk you through in the next video. The YouTube video button allows the teacher to add a link to a clip that may help students to learn more about the task or topic. It appears right on the worksheet, so the students can watch it while working on the tasks. An extra text box can be added anywhere on the worksheet. Likewise, you can adjust the way it looks in settings. If you click on the I button, an information icon will show up. Click on it and add any text related to the task that your students might find helpful. They will be able to read it by clicking on the same icon while working on the tasks. Once your worksheet is complete, press Publish in the top right corner. The platform will ask whether you'd like to share it with others or keep it private. Good luck with your first worksheet on Adform and see you soon!